So what I did was I made sure that all of my layers are turned off except the ones that I need. So I need my surface information and I need my area of interest. And then I'm going to select my select element tool and I'm going to try to select my graphic. So I'm just going to single left click and not move my mouse. And I have the graphic selected and I can tell it because I see handles. I'm going to right click on the thing that I want to clip, which is going to be my DEM. I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to export data. Under extents, it should say selected graphic clipping. If this is grayed out to you, it's because your graphic is not selected. For spatial reference, either the data frame or the raster data set, remember our data sets have already been converted to our desired spatial reference and we set our data frame at the beginning to match our data, so either one is going to give us the same results. And we can see down here that our spatial reference is that NAD 1983 State Plain Kansas North FIPS 1501 feet. Over here where it says output raster, we're going to leave all of this at default. Over here at location, we want it to be set to the geodatabase. And for name, we're going to follow that eight character limitation. We're going to make sure that our Raster does not start with a number, so it says Marlet Park DEM, which is fine. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. It's asking me if I want to add it to the data frame. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. I'm going to turn off the bigger one so that we only see the smaller one, and we can see that our larger DEM was clipped down to our project site.